Just rumor of a stonefly sighting on a favorite fly fishing stream will send a shockwave throughout the fly fishing community from coast to coast. Postings of a stonefly hatch can even be found on hundreds of websites throughout the country. These interesting little creatures of the river can cause madness to both fish and angler alike. For some fly casting anglers, a stonefly's importance ranks second to only the fly rod itself. And to put it mildly, the rest of the world will stand still while these crazed anglers swarm to their favorite river in an armada of drift boats or a pair of waders. The life cycle of the extraordinary stonefly begins as a nymph crawling and clinging to the underwater rocks or other objects at the bottom of a stream. A rule of thumb for any fly casting angler to consider is that if there is a population of stoneflies on the stream, the stream will certainly have stonefly nymphs in it year round. On average, the stonefly nymph stage will last two to four years in a stream. Stoneflies feed on aquatic plant life and other living creatures like other insect nymphs and larvae as they grow. If a stonefly happens to lose its hold of a rock or a submerged stump, it is in grave danger of being consumed by a trout wading downstream. For any fly rod packing angler, having a chance to witness an insect hatch from its watertight nymph skin into a flying insect is a marvel in nature for sure. As a stonefly nymph migrates from its watery world, they will typically crawl into a rock or a tree branch right next to the stream. Then they emerge from its nymph stage. The nymph's top side will split from its head towards its tail, and a new flying, air-breathing creature is born. Once the stonefly has made its transformation from its nymph stage, it's time for mating. The males will seek out the females, or in some cases even attract them by making a drumming sound. This typically takes place in the privacy of thick streamside vegetation or rock formations directly overhanging the stream. Once the stoneflies complete their mating ritual, it's time for the females to head back to the stream. Most stoneflies are awkward or even clumsy flyers and they make a noticeable crash landing as they land back on the water to deposit their eggs. This is the time that drives both angler and trout alike into a casting and a feeding frenzy that has to be experienced to be truly understood. <laughs> 